Hello, this video is about how to enable your voice and sound preferences and the different kind of options that you have in your voice and sound settings in Second Life. First of all, you can see that I'm talking. I have lip sync available, so my lips are moving, and you can see these little green wavy lines over my head. That's how I can tell that I'm talking and being heard right now. So do be sure that if you're not actually speaking. Your speak button is not active or green. So let's go ahead and look under our preferences, which is of course under me and preferences. And you will want to go down to the sound and media. And uh, you can see that there are all these different sliders and those are the different kinds of sounds that you can have. The main ones that you want to pay attention to are, of course, if you're trying to hear voice, you want voice up and, of course, you want it enabled. If that was for some reason unchecked, you're not going to hear any voice or no one's going to hear you. So you need to have that checked and you may need to restart Second Life. If you're having trouble, be sure that this isn't muted for any reason. See, I've clicked that and muted it. You have to be sure that it looks like this to be active. Music, I put it low, and sometimes I don't even enable it because I don't necessarily want to hear all the music everywhere I go because there's all different kinds, and it just it can get distracting, and it certainly can get distracting if you're trying to hear someone talk. So if you're going to go hear someone talk, go in your preferences and uncheck music. Buttons is something that I slide all the way down to low. It's essentially off because I don't want to hear doink, 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 and tap, 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 tap. I do want to hear the media if it's available and if I choose to, so I have it enabled. Um, you may not want to hear sounds from gestures, like if you use your waving gesture to say hey to somebody, it'll also say hey, you know, and you may or may not wish to, to play that sound, so that's a personal preference. I've never really seen media attached to other avatars. It's not been a problem for me, so I just have it checked for now. Um, I choose to normally listen to voice from my avatar position. If I was at, say, a huge presentation and I was sitting, you know, several rows back, I might want to use my camera controls to zoom into the speaker so um, that's where you will be hearing from if you have that checked. You saw me lip syncing earlier and that's what was doing that. Um, toggling to speak, you can choose to, you know, hit the middle mouse button or something and make your, you know, speaking go off. But again, like I said earlier, you don't want that speaking to accidentally be um, enabled if you're trying to hear a presentation. Here's something that's really important, the input and output devices. I'm going to click that. And uh, on my machine, you know, it's working now. I can see that it's working right away because I'm talking here and it's already going green and a little bit into the red, which might mean it's slightly, slightly loud. If that's not doing that when you do this, um, or if when you click the speak you don't and try to talk, you don't see those green wavy lines over your head, you probably have to come into the input output devices and drop down and select a different uh either microphone, like I have a lot on here because I have different headsets. My webcam has uh, a mic on it, and that's the one I normally use to record these videos. Or it might even have no device, and then certainly it's not going to work for you. Speakers, again, you may have several different sets here. So you may have to play a little bit with this to make yourself both heard and to hear others. So if it's not working, see what's going on in there. Try a different combo and see if that works. And again, you know, your volume, like I said, mine is going just a little bit into the red, which might be that if someone was talking to me, it might be just a little bit loud. So you can always adjust your own volume up or down right here. I'm going to close out of this, and there's just another couple of places where you uh, might need to adjust your settings. Um, for example, if you click on this little headset here, uh, and you have several people uh, in the immediate vicinity, you can um, selectively adjust their voice settings or see if they're active talkers. Um, over here in the far upper right, 
you have the master volume control also right there. And if you bring your cursor just slightly lower, you can start all, stop all, go into settings, which brings up that preferences again. Um, whoops, or more, which shows the nearby media that is available to play in this parcel, outside of this parcel, and etc. Uh, as you may have discovered, you can also uh, pull the preferences button down into your lower menu bar just by right clicking on toolbar buttons and dragging the preferences there so you don't have to go me and preferences. It's just, you know, right there, preference button. It's nice. So do uh, be sure that you especially check your input output devices. Make sure nothing is muted. Make sure that voice is enabled. And when you talk, make sure you can, you know, see the green um, and see others' green wavy lines just in case you, uh, for some reason, can't hear them. It may require restarting Second Life when you change your uh, settings. And one more thing, and I can't replicate this, but you may have a firewall. And if you ever get a little notice that says, you know, some features have been disabled, it's usually when you first log in, click Allow or else you will not be able to um, hear in Second Life or speak. So that's about all I have to say on this topic. Good luck with getting your uh, voice all set up, and I'll see you in Second Life.